Good afternoon. I call this business meeting to order. I want to start by welcoming our newest member, uh, uh, Senator Mullen, a uh, member of Cherokee Nation. Uh, I know you will have a lot to add um, and good experience in this uh, 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 subject matter area, and we're looking forward to working with you. Uh, today, the committee will consider three bills, S-70, Tribal Lust, uh, tri not Tribal Lust, Tribal Trust Land Home, Home Ownership Act of 2023, <laughs> S-277, the We do have a lot to work on. Two seven seven, the Pala Band of Mission Indians Land Transfer Act of 2023, and S385, a bill to amend the Native American Tourism and Improving Visitor Experience Act to authorize grants to Indian tribes, tribal organizations, and Native Hawaiian organizations, and for other purposes. S70 was introduced by Senator Thune and co-sponsored by Senator Smith, Rounds, and Tester on January 25th. The bill establishes deadlines for the BIA to process and complete all mortgage packages associated with residential and business mortgages on Indian land and establishes a realty ombudsman within BIA. The committee reported the identical predecessor bill to S-70 without amendment favorably in the 117th Congress on December 22nd of last year. S-277 was introduced by Senator Padilla on February 7th. The bill would authorize the Secretary of the Interior to take approximately 721 acres of land in San Diego County, California, into trust for the benefit of the Pala Band of Mission Indians. The committee reported the predecessor bill uh, uh, to uh, S-277 without amendment favorably in the 117th on June 23rd of last year. Lastly, Senator Murkowski and I introduced S-385 on February 9th. This bill clarifies that BIA and the Office of Native Hawaiian Relations, as well as other federal agencies, have the authority to issue grants established, established pursuant to the Native Act and authorizes $35 million for fiscal years 2023 through 27 for those purposes. The committee reported the predecessor bill to, to S385 with an amendment favorably in the 117th Congress on December 6th of last year. I'll now turn to the vice chair for her opening statement. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I apologize to you and the members of the committee uh, for my tardy arrival. My New Year's resolution on this February 15th is to not keep you waiting as often. You're very tolerant. Uh, to, to our colleague and the newest member of the committee, I too welcome you, Senator Mullen. Looking forward to all that you will add. Um, this is a good committee. We're productive, and to know that we're having this this business meeting so early is appreciated. Mr. Chairman, you've outlined the three bills before us, S-70, S-277, as well as S-385. Um, we have considered these bills before, so I'm not going to belabor the details, but I do want to just make a quick mention about S-385, which is our Native Act Amendments. Tourism in Indian Country, in Alaska, and certainly Hawaii, very important sector of our economies. S-385 will improve and grow native-run tourism by providing grants and technical assistance to Indian tribes and Native Hawaiian organizations. Last Congress, we heard from the Department of Interior that their Office of Native Hawaiian Relations needed specific authorization to issue tourism grants to Native Hawaiian organizations. And as we were vetting that, we also heard from USDA that they were facing challenges implementing the law in Alaska. So in order to fully award grants to tribes, including those in Alaska, these agencies need explicit authorization to issue Native Act grants. So again, thank you for will your willingness to work together to clarify these authorities so these federal agencies and others can issue these grants. I think it's going to go a long way in assisting our tribes and NHOs who want to use tourism to grow their economies. So uh, I would certainly hope that uh, we're able to move, again, these important measures through the committee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, Vice Chair. Is there anyone wishing to make an opening statement? Mr. Chair. Senator Smith. Thank you very much. And I'd like to add my welcome to Senator Mullen for the committee. You have already been incredibly helpful to me by showing me how to remove the Snapchat notifications from my phone earlier today. So <laughs> I feel it's the beginning for a strong working relationship. Um, Colleagues, this bipartisan bill with Senator Thune and Senator Rounds and Senator Tester, the Tribal Trust Land Home Ownership Act, 
would make sure that the Bureau of Indian Affairs processes mortgage applications on trust lands efficiently and that they meet their deadlines. Uh, as the chair noted, this bill passed out of committee last, last Congress with no one voting in opposition, so I hope that we can earn your support again today. Um, our bill would bring some accountability to how BIA reviews and processes leasehold and trust land mortgages on tribal trust lands. As you know, um, HUD, through its Section 184 Indian Home Loan Guarantee Program, guarantees mortgages made to native home buyers. But the problem is that mortgages made on trust land then also need to be reviewed and processed by the BIA. And this process can take months, which is obviously a problem when you're trying to close on a house and get your paperwork in order. The BIA has administrative deadlines, but these deadlines are routinely missed, which is a big frustration for, for home buyers, for home sellers, to HUD, and to everyone. So all our bill does is to put into law the existing BIA administrative timelines and deadlines for processing these uh, title documents to bring some accountability. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions, and I ask for your support. Thank you, Senator Smith. Anyone else wishing to make an opening statement? Uh, if not, I'll ask for a motion to consider all three bills on block. Is there a second? Okay. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. Uh, in the opinion of the chair, S70, S277, and S385 pass. I want to thank the members for getting the business of our committee completed expeditiously. I ask unanimous consent that the staff be allowed to make technical and conforming changes. There being no objections or further business before the committee, this hearing is adjourned. <laughs>